The Ghost Town. Under a cloudy sky, I find myself in an unfamiliar town. The air is thick with humidity, clinging to my skin as I move, disoriented and alarmed. I am last prof, a lone traveler, trapped in a meticulously crafted nightmare. This town, with its semblance of Venice, is disturbingly immaculate, as if untouched by time. The buildings, painted in vivid colors, stand eerily silent, their windows staring back like empty eyes. There is no human life, no movement, not a single bird in sight. Each movement is enveloped in the oppressive silence, swallowed by the void around me. As I traverse the deserted, hilly streets, the grand European architecture feels unsettlingly perfect. The high stairs are grueling, each ascent a reminder of the surreal stillness. The buildings, though pristine, possess an eerie, lifeless quality. I can't shake the feeling of dread. Where did everyone go? Could this be the aftermath of a catastrophic event? Perhaps a zombie apocalypse? The empty streets hint at a sudden, terrifying disappearance. I wander through the winding paths, an endless maze of high steps and tiring stairs, each one a reminder of the town's disorienting nature. The serene emptiness of the place contrasts sharply with the pressure I feel, the silence weighing heavily on me as I navigate this deserted town, every corner revealing more of the oppressive stillness that surrounds me. Oppressive, yet impressive, still, and yet truly moving. Palm trees line the avenues, their fronds swaying gently in the warm breeze, adding an unsettling touch of tropical beauty. The town faces an ocean, its vast expanse stretching endlessly, a stark contrast to the lifeless city. The ocean, calm and indifferent, mirrors the desolation behind me. As I stand here, facing the distant bridge, I am struck by a final question. Is this place real, or maybe a mere fragment of my imagination? The answers lie beyond the horizon, waiting to be uncovered.